Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video on Black History Not Taught in Schools featuring the Urban Intellectuals Black History flashcards. Yeah, so today we are up to day 19 of reviewing these cards and as I say every video, these videos are not sponsored. I am simply doing these for informational purposes only. So if you are interested in purchasing these Black History flashcards for yourself, then you can just head over to urbanintellectuals.com where you can order the cards if you want to. I have volumes one and volume two, which is the women exclusively. Um, and uh, I believe there are up to five. I think there are five volumes right now. So yeah. So if there is something that you feel you would like to order, go ahead and do that. So um, I'm just going over these cards just as a brief you know, history to, of people that we will probably not be taught about in schools here in the U.S. So, all of these videos are for informational purposes, and so they're just short, quick little videos highlighting two people um, from each deck each day, and yeah, we are up to day 19. So, this is a the 19th card in each deck. So here we go. So today we have Huey P. Newton, PhD, and Saint Escrava Anastasia. Anastasia. So, yes, so these two. And let's get into it. So, Huey P. Newton, PhD political activist and revolutionary. He co-founded the Black Panther Party for self-defense in 1966. He overcame illiteracy and attended Merritt College and the University of San Francisco School of Law. In 1980, he earned a PhD in social philosophy from the University of, from the University of California, Santa Cruz. He allied for freedom full employment, decent housing, education, and military exemption for African Americans. He sponsored a free breakfast program for children, sickle cell anemia tests, free food and shoes, and a school. He was shot and killed in Oakland, California, August 22nd, 1989. So, this he was one of the founders of the original Black Party, or Black Panther Party. So, Huey P. Newton, Ph.D., he was illiterate and went on to get a Ph.D. So that in itself is quite amazing. And uh, I don't know if he, and actually his birthday just passed this Today is the 19th, and his birthday was on the 17th of February, and he would have been 80, 81 this last birthday, so yeah, imagine that. So, yeah, this is Huey P. Newton, Ph.D., co-founder of the Black Panther Party. All right. And next, we have Saint Escrava Anastasia, circa 1800 to unknown. So we're going to just take a look at her. And she, let's get the focus. Okay, she was African Brazilian enslaved person and martyred saint of Rio de Janeiro. She was the product of a slave master relationship and was born with piercing blue eyes that set her apart from others. 
She was treated cruelly and forced to wear a slave mask, a collar, and a muzzle made from heavy iron. Forgiving in spirit, Anastasia cured her master's son of a mysterious illness before dying herself from tetanus caused by the slave mask. Now seen as a protector saint of the descendants of enslaved people and the poor in Brazil. So, I feel they made her wear a mask because she was probably very beautiful. And because of that, they did not want to did not want her to see herself as attractive and did not want others to see her as attractive. So they made her as unattractive as possible and ultimately killed her by making her wear these the masks. So yeah. So those are two more black history figures that are not taught in schools. So this was day 19 and card 19 from both of these decks. Again, if you are interested in ordering these decks, then head over to urbanintellectuals.com where you can order these decks. Also, if you are interested in these figures, then you can look them up. Look up more of their stories individually at your own discretion. So thank you for stopping by my channel today and I appreciate you all coming on this journey with me. So I do tune into the energy sometimes of these cards and I start to feel a lot deeper <laughs> than, you know, yeah. So I appreciate you guys watching these videos, and I hope that you are enjoying this Black History mini-series. So, I thank you all, I appreciate you, and I will see you all in the next video.